first of all, um, what's most important is a brush. I know that it's very much in style right now to not brush your hair, but we like to brush our hair. Okay, so you need that. Um, I also have a rat tail comb, and this is what I use for back combing and teasing. And then I have what I call a smoothing brush. You may call it something different, um, but this is just kind of to smooth the top hair after you tease it. So those are the three brushes that I use. Um, and then I have four different types of bobby pins. Um, I'll start with this one. It is just not very much of a hold bobby pin. It's just the bobby pin that I use to kind of pull some hair to the side and stick it back in. If I've got little ends that are sticking out, I just use that to step them back in. And then I have big bobby pins, which I use most of the time to actually hold my hair um, because it's it basic. they're very secure. Then I have medium-sized bobby pins. And then I have little bitty bobby pins. So I have um, multiple bobby pins. And I have them, just an assortment, in a Betsy Johnson bag. And they're all in here, and they weigh like six pounds. So whenever I fly to go see my fiancé in Georgia, <clears throat> I have to carry this with me because um, it, it weighs down my luggage. So extra six pounds, that could be for one pair of shoes or something. Anyways, so um, that's what I use. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to um, do my um, sock bun with the braid around it. Um, I, like I said, I am very dramatic, so I tend to do mine very high. But what I use um, for that is um, what would be comparable to four socks if you want to cut up socks. I don't wear socks, so I don't have socks lying around, and I don't make blonde colored socks, so <laughs> not that I can find, not that would be thick and, you know, voluminous enough to, to make my hair as big as I want, so I went to Sally's Beauty Supply, and I bought these. They come in blonde, brown, and black, so they have, they normally match your hair color pretty well, and they're easy to cover, so I use both of them. I have one that's a little um, more round and bigger than the, the smaller ones, so I stack them on top of each other, and then I bobby pin them together so that they are stuck together and that they do not fall apart. And yes, I put bobby pins in my mouth, so you don't have to do that. If you are used to opening them a different way, then by all means, do whatever you feel comfortable. So this is comparable to six socks. And you need two ponytail holders, one to secure your hair, and then one to pull the hair back over the um, foam circles. Also, the um, most important thing for any hairstyle is hairspray. I use Big Sexy Hair because that holds my hair the most. You don't have to necessarily use it if you don't want to. Um, you can use whatever kind you've got. Uh, one extra thing that I do that I just use because my the ends of my hair are very thin. I use extensions that match my hair. Um, and I put them around my ponytail before I put these over. We'll get into it, but I, I do use some extensions to do the actual braid. There's two different ways that you can do this hairstyle, but first, you just have to put your hair up. So um, it's easier if you bend over. So take all your hair and just pull it up on top of your head and take a brush. So there, my hair is up in a high, high, high ponytail. You can leave it if you want. Um, very much a way back when hairstyle, but um, I have a lot of side hairs that are really short, so I just spray those up as much as I can. Um, so they're not all falling, falling out in the back. So there we go. All right. So we have the high ponytail. And what I do is <clears throat> take my extensions and I just wrap them around my ponytail. If you don't have extensions and you don't need extensions, then you can fast forward past this part. But I take the clip, I've popped them out and just start inserting them back around my ponytail. So 
So there they are. It looks just like a normal ponytail, except I've just got a whole lot more hair. Um, so I'm going to take these. These are my sponge hair sponges, I guess we could call them. And I take my hair and I'm going to put my fingers through, and grab my hair, and pull it through just like a ponytail. So then once I get it there on top of my head, I'm going to bobby pin it to secure it to my head. That way I know that this thing isn't going anywhere. All right, so there we go. Here we are now, okay? So it's just getting higher and higher. I realize that, like I said, you can use one if you prefer to use one as opposed to two. I am very dramatic again, and so I use two. So I'm gonna take my hair and I'm gonna go all the way around with my rat tail comb, back combing it like this. Extension and all. The extensions comb out, not a big deal, just like my hair does. I know that a lot of people are scared of back combing. Back combing gives you volume, so if you want volume and your hair is very flat, then back comb because it will give you more volume. All right, and I have something that looks a little bit like this once I get done. Um, so I'm going to kind of spread it all the way around to make sure that whenever I start brushing it back down that it's going to cover up the, um, the round foams in my hair. So here I go. I'm just smoothing it out. You can pull it around if you would like. All right, so now there it is smooth again. I'm going to take my extra rubber band and I'm going to just slide it back down over this. All right, so here I am at this part. Now you can leave it in a perfect donut. You can pull it out a little bit and make it a perfect donut like that. Or you can be dramatic like me and start pulling it apart like this. I start um, like pulling it and making it uneven, a little messy. Um, if you pull too much, you can always just pull it back through. No big deal. Um, so that's what I start doing, making it look a little bit messier. Hairspray, pull too much. Just slide it back in. It's very pliable at this point because it's just your hair and there's just one little um, elastic at the bottom, so it's not very secure. So there I have made it pretty messy. Okay, so now you can see here it is. My my top knot, I'll turn all the way around. Okay, so I finished that. Now I have all of this extra stuff. As you can see, some of this looks just like my extension. Some of it is actually my hair. Um, what I do, there are two different ways that you can do this. You can, instead of doing the braid, you can take it and twist it all the way around you can twist the hair just like this and twist it all the way around if you would prefer doing that. So then you have a twist up here. Or this is how I get the braids. I um I separate them into two sections. So I take the hair and I pull it around here. I take this back hair. And I separate it into two sections. So I have one section here, and I have 
one section here. Okay, so there we go. I've pulled it all the way around and gotten two sections. So then I take the sections and I braid them. And remember that my ends are very, very thin, so it's not logical for me to braid them because it wouldn't be like a braid this thin. So that's why I use the extensions. Okay, so then there's one of my braids and I take it and I start pulling it from the top, making it bigger. Both sides, it makes it more, have more volume. It does make the braid a little bit more flat. So um, make sure that you are aware that that's gonna happen. So then there you go. My braid that was actually this big has now turned into something that's this big. So I just take it and I wrap it around the back. And whenever I get to overlapping this section, I make sure that I pull the hair to where it won't, to where it won't be in the way. So then I take a bobby pin and I bobby pin it there. Okay. Then I just make sure that it's secure in the back. I can bobby pin it here on the side. So then there's that. This is what it looks like in the back. I'm going to take this section and I do the exact same thing. I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap this around this way. And I'm going to bobby pin it in place over here. So now I have a braid in the front and a braid in the back. You can um, take these. These really, really help whenever you are trying to pull the braid apart like this. And I also um, take one and they're very pliable so you can like bite the tip and it makes them um, not so spread out. And I, I secure the actual braid into the, the bun because the bun is again like a loofah okay so I make sure that it's secure and And give it one last little spray. Make sure all the flyaways in the back are sprayed up. Final touches. And there you go. I have the braid here in the front, and then I have the braid in the back. I literally get stopped all the time asking how I did my hair, how I fixed it, who did it, did I have it professionally done? No, I didn't, I just did it myself. It's pretty simple. Um, just remember that if you do have long hair, you probably have enough hair to do the braids by yourself. I don't, so I use extensions.